Hello and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener Veronica King, Heber Springs, Arkansas. He will preserve you. Last month I had a dream in which I shared I was in a block building, solid block building. It had a long row of giant windows. Outside I could see huge gray wolves milling about in a large pack, but I had no fear of them, nor any concern. I was safe. I felt totally protected and untouchable in this place of security. Early in the morning on September 23rd, I was spending time praying, worshiping, and reading. The next scripture in my prayer manual was 1 Thessalonians 5. I've begun to read the Bible, highlight the words God impresses me with, then repeat them back in a personal prayer. The first time I did this, I was reading Mark 1 when Jesus cleanses the leper. I highlighted, Jesus was moved with compassion. He put forth his hand, he touched him, and said, Be thou clean. I then made it personal. Jesus, have compassion. Put forth your hand, touch me, make me clean. I felt his spirit wash over me. But as it did, I felt an area of pain. It remained and it was pressing in a tight spot to the left of my chest. I knew it was anxiety. Something he's been showing me has been on me most of my life. I laid my hand, I laid my hand on this, and I told it to go in the name and the authority of Jesus, and it did. I encourage you to begin to read the word back to God in your prayers. When we access his will in his words and direct those to our specific situations, we will see direct and effective results. So now, on to 1 Thessalonians 5, 23-24. I highlighted these words. God himself sanctify you. Your spirit, soul, and body be preserved. I was prompted to look up the meaning of the word preserved. It is to put together from two words. The first means to guard from loss of injury and by keeping an eye upon. The second word means a fortress. God himself will protect us, spirit, soul, and body, until the day Jesus comes. He himself is our fortress. This word preserve, to guard in the fortress from loss or injury. It's the same word used in Revelation 3.10. In the letter to the end time church in Philadelphia, because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try, to try them that dwell upon the earth. What is this hour of temptation? the time of pressure to sell out, to forsake Jesus and go with the world. Beloved, do not be afraid of the future. No matter what comes, if we stay in him, we are safe. God himself is the fortress of safety. He will preserve us. Spend time with him until he becomes more real and dear to you than the world. Get in him and he will come in and make his home. You will get so grounded and trusting in him that you will be immovable in him, the fortress of our safety. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray over my friend right now. Lord, I ask you to have compassion. Put forth your hand. Touch my friend and make him clean. Make her clean. I thank you, Father, that you are our preserver, that, Lord, you will sanctify us. Spirit, soul, and body, Be preserved in Jesus' name. Lord, you are our mighty fortress. Thank you for being our mighty fortress. Thank you for guarding us against loss and injury. Thank you, Father, that we can enter the secret place. We can enter the most holy place with boldness, with confidence. Friend, I I challenge, let's you and I, let's pray God's word back to him this week in our quiet times with him. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.